So hi guys, this is my first video on how to edit 3D Reels and this is going to be a series of tutorials. In today's video, we are going to do some camera motion with some text. We are going over the basics of camera and how to actually move and make a smooth motion. So first of all, let's make a composition. Okay, so first we are going to need some text and let's just type some random text for this tutorial. Basically, let's do like 3D editing is simple. It's not that hard. Right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to animate this text with 3D motion basically by controlling the camera. This is basically the way i do my 3d edits once i have the text for the scene i'm going to create a camera now there are some things we need to mention about the camera so we have two types of camera one node camera and two node camera the difference between these two nodes cameras are basically that this two node camera allow us to control the point of interest which can help us with the depth of field and we're going to use this camera for this tutorial about the preset i usually use 35 millimeter but you can go with higher numbers just don't go too high because it's going to be too zoomed in and you probably know what depth of field is basically the focus of the camera making the background blurry the way we control the blur of the background is by amperature right so those are some things you need to know about the camera okay so now once i have the camera the second thing i'll do is make my layers 3d as well and i'm not going to do the keyframes in the camera that's not the right way to do the right way to do 3d motions for this 3d edit is by actually making a null object so basically we're creating this null object and we're connecting it with a 3d camera as well making it 3d so we can control the camera through this null object and the reason for this is because we can number one overlap the keyframe which keeps constant movement throughout the motion and it's much easier to control the camera like this for example we can move the camera like forward and backward with this but we can't really go to the sides because it's just orientational movement while with the null object we can actually just go horizontally and vertically that's the difference between using the position from the camera and the null object so you always want to use the null object as a controller now i'm going to do one keyframe here then i usually go like 30 to 40 frames forward for the next movement and that obviously depends on what video you are editing for example if you have like a voiceover in the background you're going to try to sing the speaking of the person with the words in this case we're not having any audio here so i'll just do 30 frames i'll make another keyframe here and basically the way this text is going to go is 3d editing is simple it's not hard now i'm going to hide these two layers so i can focus just on this one All right what i'm going to do now is basically let's just say i want to start this motion movement with the camera being zoomed out so i'll just go like backwards Right. And now, if we watch this, it's just a plain movement, right? Usually after I do this first null object with these two keyframes, I usually select these keyframes and add some graphs. If you don't know what graphs are, basically we are controlling the speed of the movement. So basically if we go here, we can see that the movement is going to start slow and then slowly get faster, faster. Here, it reaches the fastest point and then slows down to the end. So basically if we look at this now, it's much smoother, right? I usually use this graph, which is like 30 here and 100 here, so 30, 100. But you can use like any other graph, depends on the situation and what you prefer. Now, as I said, we're going to overlap these null objects. So basically, I'm going to duplicate this null object, going to delete this keyframe here. And what do I mean by overlapping is basically, I'm not going to set the keyframes like this, because this way they're just aligned. I'm going to set this keyframe, I'll just go 10 keyframes backwards. So that's right here. I'm going to drag this null object here. So basically we are overlapping now. The movement of this null object here is still happening. But we are starting with the other null object movement. So basically they are overlapping. And I'm going to do like 40 keyframes for this one. So basically 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going here. And before making a new keyframe position here. I'll first basically I'll just parent link this. And then I'm going to create the position keyframe. Right so once we have this movement. Now here we need to decide where this motion is going to go. So let's say we want to go like right. So I'm going to drag this position position until somewhere here and then we have something like this so now as i said we're going to hide these two layers because we need to focus on the first word then i'm going to enable this one so instead of moving this thing like here and trying to align it perfectly you're just going to click control and home on your keyboard and this word will snap perfectly in the center of the camera so basically if we go now back we have something like this basically to be honest this is pretty much all the things you need to know about 3d camera now you need to just get creative and just do some crazy motions like crazy movements so let's just do something here i'll once again go like 10 keyframes backwards i'll make sure it's overlapping now let's go like 40 keyframes forward as well i'm going to link this here and now let's say i want to go backwards right we're enabling this layer control home on the keyboard it snaps here perfectly and you have something like this Let's duplicate some text and let's actually continue with this. So we have 3D editing is simple, it's not hard. Uh, let's say you just need, let's duplicate another one text. 
right? So I'll just make another null object. Basically, we are going tanky frames, but obviously you don't need to go tanky frames. You can go, for example, let's go like five, like one, two, three, four, five. We're going five keyframes here, and instead of forty forward, now let's do like thirty. Parenting this here, and now for example, let's just go like left and forward and here we're going to click on the next word which is you just need to control home on the keyword now here you can notice the text is not in the middle and that's because the anchor point of the text actually is not central so to do that you just hit control home alt on your keyword and then you click control home and let's see this motion so far yeah, so basically now, because the text is like, is getting in the way of the motion, but we shouldn't worry too much about this because it's going to be fixed by adding text animation. So actually, let's just hide this text for now and let's keep on doing the less uh, movement for this text. And then we're going to go over the text animations as well. Let's go like thank you from backwards. And now let's say we want to go downwards, like something like this. And we're going to get this text here. So now we have the text in this 3D space and we have the motion of the camera. Let me just end this pre-comp here. So we have four seconds of footage, basically a clean, smooth text. Yeah, now the problem is the text is getting in the way of the camera. So we're going to go word by word once again. So first, let's just apply some animations. Basically for this, I have some text animations I use and I'm going to link this in the description so you can get them as well. So let's just use this text animation here, re-editing. And now once it goes here, I'm going to enable this layer so I can see when do I need to time the animation. Basically somewhere here, let's use the school text number two. It's simple. Now we're going backwards and now let's use the cool text number three. Now somewhere here, let's just use this fourth animation let's just go with this third one again okay now this needs to pop up a bit earlier here we just need it now it goes down and to get better i'm just going to use this once again and now and basically for this part like you can use any text animation you want now let's see what we've made so far Another thing I can do here to make it a bit more cool is basically select this to text and once the camera starts going back, I'm just going to click Alt Shift T on my keyword. I'm going to place two opacity keyframes. So we can just do this by clicking here and going into transform tabs and just clicking the opacity keyframe. So I'm going to go like 10 frames forward. I'm going to put them at zero bold so they can fade out once we get back to be a lot smoother. So let's see what we've made. Now, once we have this 3D motion, let's enable the motion blur for the text so it can be like 10 times better. And now this movement is smooth and all this. The final step you need to do in order to make it more smooth is going to the camera, go to the transform tab. And this point of interest here, you can alt click this stopwatch and just type this simple command wiggle 1.2 comma 25 for example this is basically a wiggle to the camera and this is going to make it even more smoother by adding this wiggle you maybe can't notice it that much but it's adding so much smoothness to it basically this is how to use 3d camera it's not hard or anything it's actually pretty simple and by the way i'm breaking down these lessons in three segments so the first segment is we're going to learn 3d camera then the next one is going to be design and effects and the last one is going to be sound design so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like click the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one